rare, awesome, and terrifying. A storm powerful enough to generate twin tornadoes, dangerous enough to kill at least one person and critically injure 16 more. And we can take you close up, as close as you'd want to get, as the monster rips through neighborhoods and shatters lives, homes, buildings are tossed into the air. Search, rescue, recovery, it's all unfolding tonight, just 75 miles northwest of Omaha in the town of Pilger, Nebraska. Good evening. I'm Rob McCartney. I'm Melissa Fryan for Brandy Peterson. We're live tonight with team coverage, starting with KETV Newswatch 7's Dave Roberts in Pilger. Pilger is pretty much a ghost town. But then again, it's not even that, considering there's no buildings left to abandon. Most of the town looks like what you see behind me here, reduced to rubble. People, however, we talk to say they're thankful to be alive. But that's about it, because there's not much left to be thankful for. Where the tornado touched down, there's a lot of debris and very little pilger. Many who stayed ended up in the hospital. Larry Nelson watched his house disappear from his neighbor's window. Well, we was in the in their basement. Yeah. It didn't move very fast. Others drove as fast as they could. It was terribly wide and it was ferocious, and so I jumped in the car and I drove east. I had to get out of there. I could see how bad it was. I needed to get out of there. She probably did the right thing. She's very sensible and probably she might, might be dead if she had stayed there. Following the destruction came the chaotic scramble to find loved ones. Hordes of people trying to get into town stopped short by deputies at the border. Hours later, people began sifting through their shattered lives, finding little possessions left. When we could see, we're like, it's terrible. And we, since we're both certified lifeguards and and first aid and stuff, so we came in to help. See that foundation? That used to be a house. Everything inside is still here. It's only 40 feet in front of where it once stood. Three houses on the opposite side of the block that are gone. What about your sister's house? It's gone. Like so many other homes, nothing is left but hope. Hope the volunteers keep helping. I can't believe how many, how many people are here. Hope that the injured people survive. It's unclear where this SUV or this riding lawnmower came from. We can only assume it's about 40 feet away from a garage that you can't even see in the background here because it's too dark. It just shows you the power of this storm. And tonight we're even hearing heartbreaking stories. One man telling us that he knows that a mother and her daughter were trying to escape their trailer home in town, running to a nearby storm when the tornado hit. He said they were in the hospital. And of course, we're just trying to find out their condition and other victims who are in town as well. We'll stay out here and update you on the condition of Pilger and the people who live here throughout this newscast. We're live in Pilger. Dave Roberts, KETV, Newswatch 7. Thank you, Dave. And Nebraska's governor declares a state of emergency in Pilger tonight, and Dave Heineman's offering help from the National Guard should Stanton County leaders want it. Heineman tells us tonight he will tour the damage in Pilger tomorrow, joined by a manager of the state emergency management agency. Now, with Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Bill Ramby now, and Bill, that's a devastating storm. We had twin tornadoes at the same time. That's remarkable. It is. It's unbelievable that they'd be that big and that close together, all from the same thunderstorm. It's, uh, it's crazy. And, of course, tonight we continue to follow the possibilities of thunderstorms. There's actually a new severe thunderstorm watch replacing the tornado watches for the areas to the north of the Omaha metro, kind of where we had that tornado watch. Now it's a severe thunderstorm watch right through here. And so it's this area that's watching closely as thunderstorms are getting close. Closer to them. But here is Stanton County, and again, we had one tornado touch down and move just barely northwest of Stanton and Spurville into the north. And then it was this storm that touched down between Stanton and Pilger that spawned the twin tornadoes there around Pilger and then tracked into the northwest part of Cumming County. Let's take a look at that video again. It's just incredible to see these giant tornadoes right next to each other. Sometimes you'll see briefly like that, but then one will spin up and, and, and fall apart, but they stayed together like that. And look at the damage. Here. Look at the debris flying in the air. Uh, meteorologist Kyle Gravel and I were looking at this on the Doppler radar. The dual pole motor of the radar was showing debris like that, 17,000 feet up into the air. I mean, that could have been a house or some kind of giant truck flying by. Of course, we had the grain bins there, but this amazing close up footage here. And then the people that were driving on the road, I mean, what are they doing up here? Driving into the tornado, those winds can be so strong. Even if you're not in the tornado, there can be 80, 90 mile per hour winds uh, within a few hundred yards of that. So it's just amazing, amazing footage. So these folks, terribly hard hit, now watching 
a line of thunderstorms coming in from the west. Thankfully, they look a little weaker than they did earlier. They're starting to edge north, but have come through the Norfolk area and just north of Stanton, which is right here. But some of this area was hit by the tornado. And then Pilger is right there, so those things may get pretty close to Pilger. Already the lightning is close by as well, so that's something we're watching. Thunderstorms tracking into northeast Nebraska. Not as bad as earlier today. But again, worth watching this evening. Uh, Melissa, Rob, amazing situation. More on the weather going forward here and uh, quieter weather coming up for tomorrow. Certainly is, Bill. Thanks. And we are also live about 20 miles west of Pilger tonight. That's where doctors are helping the victims in Norfolk. Yeah, KTV News Watch Seven's Jeremy Maskell is at the hospital right now and hearing from survivors. And we know doctors here at Faith Regional in Norfolk are treating at least some of the people hurt by the tornadoes in Stanton and Pilger Monday. One of them, Amy Kremlicek and her husband, Troy. Amy told me what she saw, heard, and felt as that first tornado ripped over her rural home. We, we got down there, and then we could, we could hear the house falling, and Troy laid on my son, Christian, and um, I laid on the two littlest of the four kids, and everything fell on top of us. And we also talked with the Stanton County Emergency Manager who compared Pilger to a war zone, saying the hit was extreme. That's why we're evacuating the town, because it's going to get dark on us. We have a storm coming in. Tomorrow morning will be another day. We can start cleanup. It's just that bad. Now, all the kids the Kremlin checks were taking care of will be okay. Troy, Amy tells me, should be released tomorrow, although doctors are monitoring his head injury. And we are staying put in this area to see what more severe weather may brew overnight. Reporting in Norfolk, Jeremy Maskell, KETV News Watch 7.